how to create dashboard on ClickUp. Hi guys, today we're going to talk about how to create your own dashboard on ClickUp. Now let us begin. Over here right now we're at ClickUp.com at the home page. Now we're going to see here on the left side, we're going to click this icon. This is our dashboard. Now on this page, we're going to see that we have to create a dashboard to organize anything in ClickUp. To create one, we're going to have to click the Add Dashboard button. And then we're going to have to add a dashboard name. We're going to put the word Testing for the meantime. We're going to put the word Testing as our dashboard name. We click Enter. And now we're over here. In this page, it's showing us the different templates that we could use for easy creation. We could see the first template named Simple Dashboard. The second template named reporting dashboard and the last time tracking dashboard we're going to check each and every one of this so that we can learn something from each template and we can compare the difference between one another after doing that we can then create our own dashboard from scratch using this button over here called start from scratch now right now we're going to click use template under the simple dashboard and now then this location over here is asking where it will take the different to-do list from and we're going to choose this testing space that I made from a previous video because it has most of my to-do list. And after that, we're going to click apply. And now over here, we can see it's loading in our simple dashboard. As you can see here, we have this text block, this chat block over here on the left side. And then that then a block labeled doc, docs, files, and links. And as we can see here, there's a YouTube link over here, which you can play if you click this. And then clicking it again. We could enlarge it or, or minimize it depending on what we, we want. Over here down below, we could see that there's also a simple task list where we can see all our tasks in an easy to see format. Now that's all the elements the simple template has. Now we're going to check on the second one. We're going to delete this dashboard over here by clicking this button on the top right and then clicking the delete button. Now we're going to create a new dashboard once again adding the name testing, clicking enter. Then now we're going to test the reporting dashboard by clicking the use template button once again. It's, it's then going to ask us about the location and then we're going to click testing like earlier. It's also going to ask about the range like from this month, this year, this week and specific range. We're going to put this month for now and then it will also arrange it by day, by weeks, or by month. We're going to click Apply. Now over here, we can see a lot more elements than from earlier. Over here on the left, we could see a status over timeline card, which is a great way to showcase the progress of your team. On the right, the number of tasks, completed calculation card. As said in this text block, which explains the meaning and how these specific blocks works. And now down here, we could see the task a task by assignee, priority breakdown, then another explanation on how each of these blocks work. And down here, we have another text blocks, text block and another task list and different more blocks over here. This template over here allows us to monitor our progress in a very in a very clean manner. Now we're going to check the other template again. Then we're going to click delete once again. Then click dashboard. Then we're going to put testing. Hit enter. And now we're going to test this time tracking dashboard by clicking use template. Like earlier, we're going to put in the list. We're going to put testing. Like that, we're gonna hit apply. 
and now it's gonna take us to this dashboard we have a text block over here a time reporting card over here as explained here it will see all the time entries for a given location filter only with what you want to see and display in customizable group as you can see in this block here we can ha can change the period from day to yesterday this week last week this month last month is here and specific range you could add the first person you could add tags you could add different users you could, you could change the groupings timesheet over here our workspace points and of course another video as you can see the dashboards are designed specifically according to the name that we saw earlier like according to this title like a simple dashboard like we saw earlier it's a very simple dashboard where we can easily track our tasks our reporting dashboard where our reporting dashboard where your progress is very easily monitored and a time tracking dashboard where it focuses on the time spent on individual tasks now right now we're going to try and create our own dashboard by clicking this button start from scratch oh now it's gonna ask us to choose a card that we want to use we have different cards as we see here on the left we have featured we have customs we have sprint statuses tags assignees priorities time tracking tables and embedded each category has different cards as you can see while well, we are changing categories right now we're going to choose a very simple card which is the task list and as you can see we can name it we can change the name to simple to do list we could click the location of the to do list that we're going to import which is this you could change the grouping by status or assignee or priority or tag change the due date the drop downs we could also include subtasks over here we could inclu include archives we can include we can include the closed to-do list we could include the we could include the closed task show the tasks that are in multiple lines more than once show bro show breadcrumbs and also add a filter we're then gonna click add card then as you can see we have a very simple to-do list section we could drag this down to make it more visible we could adjust the size to the to make it more thinner and then we could add another card right now we're gonna add a chat card so that our members can communicate with each other so that they know what so they know who's doing what and what's doing this and that over on this side we're gonna change the size once again as you can see here we can type anything like hi hello and it will appear over here you could duplicate this by clicking that as you can see there's two chats now or then we can delete a card by clicking this delete card there's also settings options for this thing so we can change the chat name into updates only save that now this the name is now gonna change to updates only uh, so that informing users that they should only update over here and not talk about random topics you can also assign comments mention someone mention a task add an emoji add file record a video clip record a screen clip and slash commands now we're gonna add another card that we want to add uh, i want to add a text block this time and then i'm gonna click add clock add card and it's gonna be down over here i'm gonna make it a bit skinny and we're gonna click this but this area of the card and then we're gonna drag up to put it on a higher location we're gonna I'm then gonna enlarge it and then like we saw earlier where we were able to watch a YouTube video 
we can easily do that by copying a url of a youtube video then pasting it over here and then it's gonna display the specific video that the url goes to by clicking it we can also adjust the size by dragging it can enlarge it or make it smaller i'm gonna make this a bit smaller to fit in the video and then we're gonna lastly we're gonna add one more card before we finish and i'm gonna put an activity view card in this activity view card we have the same options that we saw earlier i'm gonna click the location click testing and then i'm gonna add card over here down below we can see the activity activity view of the different tasks you can adjust it over here and make it fit that everyone could see now as you can see it's very easy to create a dashboard you can customize it however you want create you can create a dashboard specifically for clients or specifically for your members you can make it it's very easy to edit it's very easy to manage and be creative with how you want your dashboard to look like and that's it guys thanks for watching the video hope you learned something and see you again next time bye